Hi, church family. Hey, I hope that you're doing well. And uh, we're just excited to have you join us this evening. Kurt and Katie are going to lead us in a time of Christmas worship. And I'm just going to share some real quick announcements before they lead us. The first one is about our Christmas offering. So for the next two Sundays and Christmas Eve, you'll have opportunities to give to the Christmas offering. Half of everything we bring in for it uh, will go to Eyes Wide Open, which is a Christian children's home in Haiti that loves, disciples, educates, nurtures nearly 40 children who otherwise would have lived on the streets and been orphaned. So it's a beautiful ministry that we've been in connection with for a long time. And the other half of the Christmas offering will stay right here in our community for the Hilliard Food Pantry. So we would just want to make you aware of that, invite you to participate, just designate any gift to Christmas offering, and, and all of that we will send away. We won't keep any of that in-house, and we just know that Christmas is a great time to be generous. Hey, we also want to invite you to our Christmas Eve services. Uh, our first one is at 4.30 p.m., and our second one is at 6.30 p.m., and we're also going to offer the live stream on YouTube and Facebook for the 6.30 p.m. Um, service. And so we'd love to have you come. You may have friends and family who um, aren't connected to a church. I think a lot of people have been disconnected over the last few years, and we would love for you to come, but also please feel free to invite family and friends. Um, our older children, our elementary age kids will be in the service with us, but we do have child care and children's ministry for preschoolers um, and, and nursery age children. And then the last one that I want to mention is um, Christmas is on a Saturday. And so for Sunday, December the 26th, we are having church, but we're only going to have one service. So we're going to have our, our one service will be at 1045, which is usually the second service. We will have our live stream. Um, but, but our plan is at, at 930, uh, for those of you who are able to come, we would just love to have you come and have coffee, hot chocolate, and donuts. So we're going to have a little time of fellowship before the service, combine it all into one, as we realize a lot of people may be traveling. And so we'll just bring, bring everyone together into one service and enjoy some donuts and coffee and hot chocolate beforehand. We'd love to have you come and be a part of that. Pastor Drew is preaching. Um, I'm, I'm planning to, um, we'll receive Holy Communion. I'll lead us in that. So we're expecting a great Sunday on Sunday, December the 26th. And uh, at this point, Kurt and Katie are going to lead us, and I just pray that this will be an encouragement to you. God bless you, church family. I look forward to seeing you soon. Merry Christmas. Well, good evening. Thank you for joining us uh, this evening. We are going to just celebrate Jesus Christ and the season of his birth, and uh, we're going to start with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Lord God, we are grateful that we have this evening to worship you, to bring praise to your name. Lord, we know that many of the people that are watching this, this this evening are just struggling. They're dealing with different circumstances where they need your love and your support. And Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who is interceding on our behalf right now. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness, for your humility and for your majesty. Amen. I'm going to start by reading a passage from John, John 1, 1 through 5 and 9 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth.
to a virgin came the word from a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dirt praise the father praise the son praise the spirit to the other side knowing this was our salvation Jesus for our sake you died praise the Father praise the Son praise the Spirit three in one God of glory Light of the world. 
sending your son, Jesus Christ. Born of the Holy Spirit through Mary. We recognize how miraculous it is. There never was and never will be anyone like you, God. Thank you for salvation's plan. Thank you for redemption's plan. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Father. Lord, this evening we just have come to worship you. Lord, we truly just pray that our hearts will engage with you with all that we have in this season. Lord, you are really worthy of praise. You are so worthy of honor. When we think of the God of creation sending his son so humbly, so beautifully, how can we not worship as well? How can we not just respond in praise? Lord, as we are living our lives, we need you desperately through your power, the power of your spirit to just transform us and to encourage our hearts and to spur us on to love and good deeds. Father, may we be actively living out our faith. And Father, as we go, may we just have the truth of Jesus Christ burning in our hearts and minds. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week.